Hi Aries, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Ascendant, and Aries Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Aries, now on to your September 2018 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have here is the Seven of Rods, and this is you holding the closing the door on or holding back negative energy or communications coming at you. I feel like some of you Aries are really hearing a lot of complaining and griping in September. And I feel like you're like getting worn down from it. You wish that it, whoever's doing it, you wish that they would just stop, they would quit it. This could be clients to you, customers, it could be um, employees, it could be co-workers, it could be family members. It's going to be different for all of you where this is coming from. And I feel like you're going to actually feel like you can't sustain what they're trying to get you to do. Like you can't sustain the level of what is coming at you. You, you, you can't. You want to, so you want to block it off or shut it off. And I do feel like you have a lot of interesting topics or subjects or things you need to do or to complete. And you may feel overwhelmed, almost like you don't feel like you have enough time in the day to complete them all. Some of you are getting ready to leave and uh, take some kind of trip. You may be flying on a plane to go on this trip. I do feel that there's going to be some kind of, you may have some kind of communication breakdown with some people, or you are going to have to uh, put a stop to people. Like maybe you're getting too many emails or too many phone calls or too many, uh, and, and you can't, you're going to tell them to stop emailing you or to call calling you because you can't, you know, you can't do what it is that they want or want you to do or whatever they're asking you to do. I do see some of you planning out some kind of new strategy or new course of action. And you're going to be in control of it. You're going to hold the reins of whatever this is and how it's going to go. Not somebody else controlling it. You're controlling it. You may even have to tell somebody or some people, could be more than one person, that like back off. I'm not ready to do this yet or I'm not ready to respond yet or I'm not ready to launch it yet. Whatever this it is for you is going to be different for all of you Aries. If you had had clouded vision about what you wanted to do or you're, it's becoming clear to you in September. So prior to September, especially during these last months of, uh, you know, part of June, all of July and all of August with all this planetary mishmash that's been going on. Um, if things were unclear to you then, or even, even over the past year, they're going to become clear to you in September and October. You have the Seven of Cups next, and I have to laugh for my, one of my, I have a few Aries friends, and one of my Aries friends, here's your card, because it comes up for her on her rising sign, on her sun sign, on her moon sign. Well, here you go. My Aries friend, you're getting it again. And this is scattered energy, scattered thinking. Uh, this is scattered emotions. Choose wisely from the illusions around you. You may have some kind of confusion in making uh, or difficulty in making a decision. You know, there is something plaguing you or getting on your mind uh, that's kind of eroding your spirit or worrying you or bugging you, Aries. And I feel it is something that has to do with the pressure of time, 
of time or timing. Maybe you think something's taking too long. Or maybe you're an Aries that feels like things happen too quickly and you weren't prepared for it. I don't know, but I get like time being one of the issues you're confused about or struggling with. Break it or make it. You have to make amends with the situation of what you really want out of it. That's what my guides are telling me. So you have to think whatever the situation is, you have to become really clear what you want out of it. And it's like make it or break it time. Is it a love relationship, Aries? I don't know. For many of you, I feel like it is. For some of you, maybe it's a job situation. I don't know could even be a living family situation it's going to be different for all of you because it is a general reading Aries so these messages are going to be speaking to you in all different ways for all the different Aries out there that are listening to this reading I also feel like it's like you have to figure some things out and get things in order before you make the next step because there's some next step that you have to make or you're getting ready to make uh, or you want to make. But you can't make this step until you get things straightened out and clear. And some things going on in your life somewhere. Are you the Aries where it's your love life? Are you the Aries where it's your work life? Are you the Aries where it's a business that you own? Or a living family situation? I don't know. But... There's a step you want to take and you're getting ready to make a step. There is some step you're getting ready to do here, Aries, but it's like you have to get some stuff organized and aligned and in order and figured out exactly what you want out of the situation before you can proceed. And uh, you've got this confusion. This is the confusion card or scattered card. Um, and I don't feel like you're just suddenly getting scattered in September. I feel like you've had this confusion or what do I choose to do issue going on for a few months at least. Some of you maybe even longer than that. I'm going to tell you what and some of you aren't going to like it because it's going to sound like it's too far away. But you're going to make some big decisions and be real clear on what you're doing in April. Maybe that's your birthday month. Are you a March-born Aries or an April-born Aries? Either way, I feel like April is a month of big decisions and clarity. Now, some of you, your timing could be right now in September or in October or in December. But for some of you, it's April. So here you have the two of rods, and this is partnership and business or partnership and romance. It can also be uh, something you're focusing on that you're putting out into the world for people's opinion, for sale, for review uh, as well. Some of you maybe are afraid that you jumped the gun and did something too quickly. Did you break up with somebody and you didn't and you're like, uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. Or you quit a job, you're like, I quit. And now you're like, uh oh, maybe I shouldn't have quit that. Or you sold something and now you wish you hadn't. I don't know. Some of you may have some kind of like buyer's remorse or seller's remorse or breakup remorse. Or uh, you may have made some decision too quickly or possibly you did it during Mercury and Mars in retrograde. And now you're going, uh-oh, maybe I'm, I shouldn't have done that. You might be second guessing yourself about something. I do feel... There is a situation that's going to become crystalline clear to you about what you need to do. So if you were sitting on the fence going, I don't know if I should be in this relationship or not, you're going to be crystal clear whether to do it or not. Uh, I don't know if I should start this new business or not. You'll be crystal clear about whether you should start it. Uh, I don't know if I should you know, quit this job or not, or, or change my career path or not, or move to a different location or not, you're going to be crystal clear about whether to do it or not. And around the 14th and 15th of September is going to be a much better time for you to make uh, moves of like stepping into action, starting anything new. Starting a new love relationship, starting a new business, starting a new job, making a move, purchasing a, a new property, uh, adding new uh, services to your 
website or starting a new website, whatever it is, it's going to be better for you to wait and do it around the 14th, 14th, 15th, or 16th of the month of September. Some of you are going to be leaving something that has seemed unhealthy for you or like it wasn't really it was draining you or it wasn't really working out in your favor or you had a lot of scattered energy and clouded thinking about it you're going to make a decision to leave it if that applies to you if you're already coupled and you're not breaking off with them there's going to be monumentous change in that relationship one way or the other the monumentous change could be that you break up with somebody or a relationship ends but the monumentous change could be some other kind of change maybe you're going to move in with them or maybe you were living together and now you're like you know what uh, I think we could still see each other but we need to not live together I don't know but um, I'm just using love relationships as an example because it is coming up in my mind first but again business and work come at a close second so how it pertains to you will be up to you to decide Aries so the next card you have here for September is the seven of swords and this is someone lying to you or deceiving you or possibly even stealing from you or you could be the one doing it I don't want to say that Aries you, I don't believe it's you I, it could be you I do feel like you've had it with liars and I do feel that you know there's somebody ha that has been lying to you and you know it and I feel like you've really had it I also see some of you Aries feeling a little threatened by someone's presence so is it like somebody got hired recently and you feel like they're after your job or is it a new boss that came in and the old boss you were like in tight with and now they're gone and now the new boss is you know not so sure that they like you and it's like a threatening feeling or uh, you know I don't know some hot woman or guy moved next door and now your significant other is like checking them out and that's making you feel threatened only you can decide Aries what it is is making you feel threatened but you're getting tired of being lied to that comes up here strongly and I feel like you know you've been lied to and you don't like it and it, the second thing that comes up here is feeling threatened about something I do get you having some kind of this kind of came up in the first card a uh, communication breakdown with somebody that you've kind of had it with or you've had it out with them already so you may have already had consternation with whoever this is already um their will is maybe I hate to say this because I find this hard to believe with Aries their will may be stronger than yours and they may be trying to prove you wrong or get you to admit that you're wrong about something this could be your love partner it could be a co-worker or a boss who's doing this to you Aries somebody's doing it and listen I'm going to say here because I get a lot of Aries that grumble about their readings to me and I'm going to say you know what I'm Aries rising your rising sign is very strong don't think rising sign doesn't predict sometimes rising signs are predicting on a more regular basis for you than your sun sign so I don't like some of these predictions that come up some of them disturb me uh, and uh, you know my nephew is an Aries my son is a Pisces Aries cusp my grandmother was an Aries uh, I have two really good friends that are Aries please don't think I'm against Aries here but whenever you don't think I'm giving you the straight story or you think I have something against your sign you need to ask yourself when I give the predictions that don't sound like woohoo ask yourself is stuff going well when I'm giving you those predictions already is your life like happy-go-lucky and everything's great and I'm giving you crappy predictions or is stuff already tenuous you need to ask yourself that because there's a couple Aries that write me and act like they can't take what I'm saying but I say to Aries you need to ask yourself does anything I'm saying make sense already I'm not wishing anything bad I sweat under the collar every time I do Aries readings <laughs> because my own self 
being Aries rising and for you guys out there believe me so the next card you have here is the strength card and the strength card is having to have inner courage and inner strength having to have strength over adversity it's also could be dealing with Leo because the woman is holding a lion's head in her lap it could be taming a savage beast also um, this card can mean many many things really can keep I could keep going I really do feel for Aries that 2019 is really your year where you are going to feel like you have a lot of strength in all areas your love life your work life your financial life but we're still in 2018 so it's like I feel like like Aries is um, like the mechanic needs to come in and tighten all the screws and nail in all the little nails that are popping out of the wall and tighten the screws and you know put, it, put fixing everything that's what I feel is going on for Aries now these last couple of months of you know last few months of 2018 I do feel that some of you Aries are going to be communicating with someone at a distance that's going to be really nice and going to be really helpful and going to be useful to you and give you a lot of interesting insights and communication maybe for some of you it's going to be like a long distance uh, love affair or somebody you're going to have as a mentor or a teacher or someone that's going to do business with you or something because I get you having long distance communication with somebody and it's going to be very positive and helpful to you I see you building up your strength because I hear Aries your Aries mind going I have the power to change this and I'm going to do it so your will is going to be very strong in September October and November maybe even in December as well and I do see some of you Aries finally getting to have your say to put something to rest so whatever's been in a state of flux or upheaval or you haven't really been feeling settled about it you are going to find that strength and courage to finally put your cards on the table and say what it is you want to say and whatever your say is here Aries you put something to rest and you know that communication that you're going to have that's going to give you interesting information and insights you're going to be putting that to good use in some manner it's not like you're not going to do anything with it Aries you are going to use it it's going to be helpful to you and I also see some of you having to decide whether you want to fix something that is broken whether it's worth fixing it or whether you're going to get rid of it and get something new and again I'm going to go back to that could be a relationship it could be a job but it could actually be a thing maybe it's your car maybe it's broken and you're like well is it worth fixing it because I fixed it several times or should I just get rid of it and get a new car it could be an object an air conditioner a car a uh, I don't know a tractor a lawnmower a you know I don't know but for some of you it could actually be a job or a relationship or some other kind of situation so I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that and please remember to subscribe that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube and if you're interested in getting a continuation of this reading Aries where I look into my crystal and give you additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for the month of September 2018 you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below in the description area called the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for September 2018 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase you can also access these videos by going to my website www 
theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and there should be the very first video series listed at the top of the page. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, Aries, if you're interested in getting the special videos I recorded for the focusing very strongly on the August 11th, 2018 partial solar eclipse in Leo and how it's affecting your sign in regard to beginnings and endings where I pulled three cards from the Morgan Greer Tarot deck for the endings for your sign, three cards for, from the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck for the beginnings for your sign, and then I concluded each reading with the crystal. You can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the other link below this video, and they're also available on my website on the videos page. You just look for the heading of Eclipse Effects of August 2018, Endings and Beginnings, Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings for each sign of the zodiac. And these predictions last for six months. You click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So I hope you have a stupendous September, Aries, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.